YouTubers, welcome back for Vlogmas Day 16, okay? I cannot believe y'all, we are moving right along in Vlogmas. It's going so well. Oh, there's a dog in, beside me, a little dog. Anyways, but right now I am actually supposed to be going into the grocery store. It is raining here, so if you hear a lot of like, it's the rain hitting the window seal. But the reality, y'all, I've had a lot going on today, but I wanted to record this word because it's something that is gonna stretch me, okay? And it's a wedding word that God gave me like two years ago. And the reason why I have not gave this word out is because back in the day, y'all, I would be grabbing words and listening to prophetic words on YouTube all the time about wedding and marriage when I knew that was not for the season that I was currently in, okay? When I knew God had still a lot of working to do on my heart, when I knew he was still showing me issues in my trauma and issues of past dudes, and I'm over here like believing God for a husband at the moment when I knew that wasn't the word for me. And I used to get really lonely sometimes, so I would go on YouTube and just look up prophetic wedding words or prophetic marriage words to kind of make me feel better. When the reality is maybe the word I need to be looking up was building faith, build, walking in my purpose, getting stronger in my faith with God, getting to a place of self-love, getting to a place where I didn't feel like nothing in my life was missing, right? Those are words I should have been looking up, but you know, none of that. So that's why I have truly stayed away from marriage words, words on weddings, anything like that, because I know sometimes we, when we're going through our own struggles and our own hurt, sometimes we believe the relationship will add another element to our life that will fulfill us. When the reality is that you're already supposed to be fulfilled and the relationship's supposed to just be like icing on the cake. You know what I mean? So that's why I stay away from this. But today I'm going to definitely give this word. It's something God gave me two years ago and I have remembered it through my hardest seasons. Okay. So this is about two years ago. I was walking little Monty J over on Riverside where we used to live. I was walking him one day. I had my pods in my ear and I'm just walking him and I'm thinking and you know, whatever. And then I get a vision. Now, what I call a vision is where I can see something physically. Okay. This doesn't mean it's an audible sound. Like someone's talking to me and I don't I just, this is, it's like, I get this clip of something going on, right? I call it like a little video clip. Like I can just see it clear as day. So I got this vision. Okay. And in this vision, I am rushing to this bridal shop and I run into this bridal shop. I'm late. I get there and there were a lot of women around and they already had all these beautiful dresses already picked out. And there was literally only like one or two dresses on the rack or on, like on the rack that was still left. And these women are like, oh my gosh, they had these beautiful dresses. And I have to just look at these two dresses. And I'm looking at these two dresses and I'm like, they're not, they, they look like the 70s, 80s vibe, big bouffant dresses. And I'm like, okay. And their ladies are kind of like, ha, 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 look at my dress. Kind of a little snarky a little bit in my dream, in the vision. But they're just like, they're all excited about their dress. And I'm looking at my two that I have to choose from and they look hideous, okay? And I'm looking at these dresses and I'm like, um, and I'm kind of like, I, I guess I'll take this one. Like, I guess, like, it didn't look that great, but I, I, I was like willing to like maybe try it on. I don't know. And then this man comes around the corner and he's like, he has this really pretty dress and he said, oh, hey, I knew you was going to be running late. So I went ahead and put this one back for you. And he's like, I put this back for you because I knew you were running late. And, and I want to tell you, this dress was beautiful. Like this, and maybe it was because of who I am, but this dress was beautiful to me. Like it was, to me, it was better than those dresses. Like it was so beautiful. And I was like, <gasps> like I was so shocked that this person put that dress back. Cause I was about to choose out of these two. And God said, and that's what I do with you daughter. And I want to share this with you. He's like, I know you would be running late. I knew that there were going to be some things going on in your life. I knew you were going to feel behind the mark. I knew you were going to feel like you were doing this later in life. So, but don't worry. You didn't miss out on anything good because I saved one for you in the back because I knew you would be running late. And that is for someone today. Quit thinking that the time is up. Quit thinking that I'm going to get, I've got to settle for this and that because this is all I can get because I'm this age. Quit thinking that. God says, if you have faith and believe in me, know that I set one back aside for you that's been put aside in the back that nobody can touch, that nobody can grab. There's one specifically for you and you're specifically for it. And I want to tell you that because I was the girl who would say, no, I'm going to stay in this relationship because I'm already getting older. No, I'm going to stay in this relationship because, hey, he wants to marry me. So, I mean, at least I will get me married. No, I'm going to stay in this relationship because it's better to be here than to be alone. I would tell myself that, like, I'm going to stay here because who else can I date anyways? When the when the Lord gave me this vision and then he gave me that revelation of, you, I knew you was going to be behind a little bit. I knew you were going to have a lot of things in your plate and it was going to push you back a little bit. I knew you were going to be so purpose-driven, Morgan, and it was going to hold 
you back just a little, but don't worry about it because I saved the best in the back for you. I even knew you were running late, so I put this one in the back and I knew it wasn't gonna be touched because I knew where you were, I knew you were gonna come. I knew you were gonna get here. And when you got here, I was gonna pull it out for you and show you that I've been with it all along. I've been covering it all along. I've been preparing it all along. It's been waiting on you. So I want you to know that God has already prepared a table for you. He has already went before and he's already prepared the route and the way and the person for you. You just have to trust that and believe that you're going to go into alignment with that. And this right here broke a lot of shackles off of me mentally because I didn't believe that I could have my dream and a husband. I didn't believe I could have my purpose and children. I didn't believe that. I thought it was only going to be purpose and that's all I could go after because I just never seen it do both ways. So I didn't think that was true for me. But I want to tell you right now, the table has been made. The reason I walk when I walked into that shop, and I thought I only had this to choose from, there was something already been prepared for me. God already made provision for me. And I wanna say the same thing for you. So right now, daughter of God, if you're in a single season and you're over here wondering when you're your next, when am I gonna meet the man I'm gonna marry? When am I gonna meet that one person? When am I, when am I, when am I? I wanna tell you right now, don't stress over that. Understand that God is already prepared for you. He's already made a way for you. He's already set something up for you, okay? And also I wanna tell you to, to start proclaiming God's goodness over situations. One thing about it is you got to proclaim God's goodness over your situation. So my situation said, I'm behind in line. I'm almost this, I'm almost 30. There's no man interested in me. Um, do I have to settle for less? Uh, I'm trying to do purity and that's causing me to wait even longer and make me go through different situations as well. Like, what do I do? Like, do I just start to settle? When I was having all these thoughts, I had to begin to proclaim God's goodness that I know what I'm doing for a reason, that I know I'm waiting for a reason, that I know I may be technically behind to other people, but I'm right on time to the Lord. And even if I'm running a little late, it does not depict, it does not mess up what God has already had for me. It does not take away the very thing he had waiting on me. Just because I'm running a little behind schedule don't mean nothing, okay? I want to tell you that today because I have felt that way. And I think the reality is I want you to start speaking to your false beliefs. I had a belief that I couldn't have a good husband. I had a belief that no man was faithful. I had a belief that I couldn't have purpose and a husband. I didn't believe that I could be a mama even though God put these desires in me early on. I didn't believe I could be a mother because I was so focus driven. I believe I was too independent for a man. All these beliefs was causing me to not really rely on the word of God so when God gave me this vision he showed me that I will be married that he does have something good for me that the man will be faithful that even though I'm walking in purpose I will still be walking in the alignment and obedience to God and I will meet my husband when I got this word I quit trying to rush the process because I think before that I was trying to hurry and rush into the boutique so to speak I was trying to get there real quick because I wanted to be the first few with the dresses not realizing the best dress was saved for last I want to tell you that that was me trying to rush to get down the aisle and then when I would get with somebody and I knew this wasn't the best for me I would try to stick with it because I just need to get down the aisle when the reality is you want to get what God has for you and not what man has for you. You don't want to pick off of your views and what you think. You want to pick based off of what God says. You want to believe that God has brought you into an alignment with something so beautiful. So I just say all that because I've been the girl to try to force some things, okay? And like I said, if you got to go fast and if you got to force something, it's not God. And so I was trying to go fast in a lot of my relationships and I was also trying to force things to work out and stay together when it didn't even need to be stayed together, okay? So I just want to say that word that I got years ago bless me and it broke some shackles off of me so now when I'm going through things when relationships don't work out when things end when my heart is broken when I'm feeling lonely I remember that word and I remember the vision God gave me through that word and I just know he already saved them for me I'm good I'm good it's already been saved it's already been set aside because he knew Morgan might get a little side Morgan might be running late Morgan might be caught up on stuff Morgan might be trying to finish her degree Morgan might be trying to do this over here but it's all right I saved this for you and so I hope that blessed you today. I just wanted to share that with you uh, for anybody going through their single season or they're maybe feeling like you're ready for the next level and next thing in your, in your life, like marriage and stuff like that. And you just feel no hope in it. Hopefully this word gives you a peace and a hope that surpasses all understanding. And I hope you do that thing. You proclaim goodness over your situation. You proclaim blessings over your situation with this. And you trust God. And right now, y'all, I'm speaking from a girl who's not married. I'm speaking of a girl who's not engaged. I'm speaking from a girl who is not 
anything right now. So I'm speak, still speaking this in faith as well. So I just hope that this blesses you and inspires you to speak in faith, walk in faith, and know that what God has for you is for you, sis. All right. See you later. See you tomorrow. Bye. I want to see you.